Hello everyone, Vintage Problem Guy, happy Follow Friday, and here is system test number 51. So anyway, let's get started. So, for the theme of today's system test, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail of this video, uh, we're going to be doing kind of like a, a retrofit, I guess you can also say it's like a like a replacement kind of setup. Um, so this is going to be like, like a setup, like for in like some situations, like if an old horn on top of an old stereo plate or light plate, uh, ever dies and the horn actually needs to get replaced. So that's kind of what you're um, going to be seeing for the system test today. So I know I did mention it in my last video. I was going to do the vertical mount electronic for now three, but I decided I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting today uh, for the theme of the system test. So, yep. So I guess without further ado, I guess let's get started with the devices on the system. So up with the pulse stations by the panels, obviously 14, 51, 21. You guys have seen this plenty of times. Up here, I have a new horn in my collection. The serial play you guys have seen uh, plenty of times, but the horn is actually new to my collection. This is a System Sensor uh, Spectral Classic Model H1224 uh, remote horn on top of my Simplex 4903-9105 stroke plate. Yeah. Now, this kind of this kind of combination looks a bit weird. Um, it looks a bit strange, but it looks pretty interesting at the same time. So yeah. So the reason why I decided to put a uh, you know electronic remote horn on top of a stroke plate, um, and like I said in the beginning of the video, um, this is gonna be kind of like a setup in case like you know for some situations like if an old horn ever dies on top of the old stereo plate and needs to be replaced. So yeah. so maybe let's say for example, let's say you know. Let's say the stereo play had this 93 horn on top of it, and then the horn went bad. So what would happen, you know, Tex will come in, and, you know, they'll find the unit that has a dead horn, and they'll probably slap on one of these um, electronic units on top of the stereo plate. So, yeah. It looks pretty cool. Um, it looks very interesting. Interesting or something. Yeah, I think I'm, like, the second person, or maybe the first person to try something like this. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I've never seen anyone else try this. I think I for one person on YouTube. That's actually tried something like this already, so yep. But anyway, let's continue on with the rest of the system. Simplex 2989636 as always. Over here, 2999754. And then for the last and final device, I got my custom made uh Wheelock WMT uh remote strobe. Alright, that was pretty much the overview of all the devices on the system. So as you can probably tell, yep, we kind of have a bit of a retro. Uh, retrofit themed, um, and also kind of like a replacement, uh, partially replacement themed uh, system test, as you could probably tell. So, yep, yeah, like I said, you know, this will be in like some situations, kids, an old horn on, uh, you know, one of these stroke plates ever dies and needs to be replaced. So, this is kind of what we're doing today. So, yep. Yeah. All right. Now, one more thing before we set the system off. Um, now, the thing with this, um, this Spectral Classic, because it's first generation. Um, with these first generation Spectra Classics, these older ones, uh, these remote horns actually for some reason have a built-in delay before it starts sounding. So I think it's like approximately like three seconds before the alarm uh, starts sounding, which I think is kind of stupid for a remote horn. I know on the newer um, Spectra Classic remote horns, they don't have that. It just sounds immediately when power is applied. So yeah. So, sadly, this alarm is only going to be doing code 3 for the system test today, so yeah. There is going to be no march time, um, there is going to be no code 3 by the panel, um, so I actually have to leave the panel on continuous because if I try to do, set this on code 3 or march time or something else by the panel, it's not going to work correctly, so, yep. So, sadly, this will just be doing code 3 for the system test today. Alright, I think that's enough talking, we're like 4 minutes into the video, so, I guess without further ado, We'll start things off with 4251-21. And like I said, this just be doing code 3. So if you have any epilepsy, fall sensitivity, or any seizures to flash and lash or strobe lights, please do not watch this video. Anyway, let's pull fire alarm.
And as you can see, audible silence. And you know, it's just very interesting to see, you know, a newer electronic horn on top of stroke plate, you know. That's literally something, this is literally something you don't really see too much every day, so. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and reset this. And I guess we'll go ahead and we'll go over here by the doorway and activate the 299 Pretty loud alarm, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a Spectre alert, so what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, pretty loud and Spectre classic. At least it's not like the advanced. Yeah, the advanced is like, those things are incredibly loud. Like, yeah, then your, your ears will go sore for like, for weeks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, after hearing Spectre alert dances on like high volume or something like that. So, yeah. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and activate the last initiating device on the system, the Simplex 298. Here we go. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this has to be pretty much the most interesting setup, you know. Yeah, like I said. To be honest, you know, yeah. That's pretty much what happened, you know, an old horn on top of one of these stroke plates ever die. Yep, get to replace an electronic one. So, yeah. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and reset the panel. And that'll be pretty much it for the video. And, uh... All right, panel is now back to normal, so, yep. All right, so that pretty much wraps up for system test number 51. So, yep, yep, a kind of kind of like a retrofit replacement setup. So, yep, so this has been like situations, like I said, it could have been old horn on top of one of these stroke plates or light plates died, you know, you know, something like this. It gets replaced with electronic ones, so, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm probably I'm like the first. I don't know if I would say I'm the first person. Probably the second person. Um, I know there's another YouTuber that's actually tried something like this, and that is uh MSJ nineteen nineteen sixty one. He actually did something similar to what I have, or what I at least put up. But uh, I think he used a toy now through light plate with a Spectre Classic horn. So he tied like the light onto the horn, and uh, yeah, I know it's doing Co three. So. Yeah, I'm telling you what, this is a rather interesting setup, so. Yep. Alright, so, that pretty much wraps up for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week for the next Farlow Friday. Have a great day, everyone.